In this video, we're going from London to Germany, and more specifically to the Nürburgring in this Porsche 911 991.1 GTS. We're not on our own though, we have a C63 S AMG, a Giulio Quadrifoglio, and a Lotus Exige Cup 430 with us. There's a few more joining us when we cross the channel too, so it's going to be a pretty brilliant trip. We loaded the cars onto the Euro Tunnel and waited 35 minutes for our crossing to Calais. The GTS that I'm in belongs to my friend Richard. It's a car that I'm extremely interested in finding out more about what it's like on a road trip. It's a 3.8 naturally aspirated high revving 911 and whilst it doesn't sing the same song as a GT3, it definitely sounds the part. When the train docked, we were greeted by rain, which wasn't ideal. We at least had Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on the car, but a number in the group had Michelin Cup 2's on. We could only hope that the rain would clear by the time we hit the German Autobahn, but more importantly, we hoped that the rain would clear by the time we got to the Nürburgring. We pulled up at a service station in Belgium where we met Jason in another Exige, Dimitri in a 991.2 GT3 Touring and Matt in his 992 GT3. We had a quick stop of lunch, a bit of a regroup and then we were back on our way heading towards a German border where the weather looked like it was starting to brighten up. Just as we hit Germany and we hit the de-restricted autobahns, the roads were dry and the rain had stopped. Richard and I negotiated to swap the GTS for the GT3 with Matt. He gladly accepted the trade as his exhaust on his GT3 is so loud, it allowed him to get some respite for his ears. Either way, we were extremely happy to have the GT3 for this stint. <laughs> that is quite hilarious. So Matt, so Matt's behind us now in the 991.1 GTS. I <laughs> think he suits that better. Yeah, oh, he suits it better. I think this car <laughs> is like, oh, Richard, yeah. finally. But mate, I'm telling you, the 992 GT3 is just, an, it's a masterclass, isn't it? The exhaust tone. It's so amazing. direct, man. I sort of think about turns. Yeah. Uh, the nose just goes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We push through some autobahns. And then some tunnels. Before pulling off the motorway to navigate our way through the green forest roads close to the ring. But as we got closer to the ring, the rain had come back and the roads were extremely wet. Again, not ideal for the Cup 2 crew who really wanted to get some laps under their belt when we arrived at the ring. We stopped for a final pit stop at a nearby petrol station to fuel up, snack up and swap back into the GTS. A few more forest roads and some lovely villages around the Nürburgring and we were on our way to check into the hotel.
that, mate. Four S's. Oh, <laughs> Again, our home sweet home for the next couple of days. Because, of course, we finally arrived at the Nurburgring. Well, our little home outside of the Nurburgring. The weather's not ideal, as you can see, and I'm not sure if we're gonna get um, dry laps today. But either way, I'm here for it. I'm here for the fun. I'm looking forward to getting some pizza later on, but it has been a very long day, early start up. Hot flipping out how much fun was going out in the in Matt's GT3. What a car. And with that exhaust as well, it is just incredible. And I have said, I personally said that the 992 GT3 is the best car I've ever driven. Uh, but mind you, I do like the GTS as well because it gives you a lot of comfort as well. It's not as obnoxiously loud as the GT3. Obviously, GT3's got an exhaust on it. But um, yeah, 991.1 GTS is a very, very good car. So as knackered as I am, and I could quite easily just lie down here, I can't because we've got two hours of tourist and fine TF that's just about to start. So uh, we're going to make our way to the track and see how big the queues are. I think they're going to be really big. It is like the weekend just before the N24. Have I got the room key? And that's the important thing. Yes, I do. It's the weekend before N24 which means everybody is gonna be trying to get on the track. It's also uh, TF Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So uh, yeah, we've definitely seen a hell of a lot of cars here. Should be good fun. Let's see what we can find. took his car out on the track on cup two tires when it was pretty wet. Uh, we did a lap which was, we've done two laps. First lap we did Matt led and uh, there was a couple of moments in that car because majority of the track was wet and we were following. But second lap we led and well, we didn't see Matt again. So uh, fair play Richard. Oh, so, so nice. And look, the sun's out. We had such bad weather heading down here. I'm so glad the sun's out. The track is definitely going to dry out. Oh, that is another strong spec GT3. Shot blue, like the press car. It's amazing. This is kind of like a, if you've never been here, I, mean, I don't know if you can see right down the end, you've got the home straight. And this is kind of like, just like you're entering a car park, just like a toll booth. You go nice and slow here and then off you go. It's super cool. EVs. Saving the planet. Go on, Tesla. Here comes the brutes from Bavaria. <laughs> you can see we've got a GT3 touring, Dimitri, about to get his tires done. Matt is also here, reloading his tires. How many did you do? Five laps. Five laps. Oh, solid, solid. Jordan in the Julia. That, that's running 600 brake horsepower. Celtic tuning, lowered. I'm gonna go in here, get some snacks, go back to the house, get a pizza in, because I definitely want a pizza, and then chill out, because tomorrow's another long day. So I would say that's the day done, right? Absolutely. Day done at the ring. Steve-O, look at the GT3 hanging in the corner there. So we've got some good prime viewing here. <laughs> well done. 
It's like a bloody traffic jam. Everyone's coming back from the ring. We've got our beer. That is definitely lower than Is he going to scratch? Yeah, but he actually takes, it, takes that on the ring though. Oh! Shots fired. To be fair, at least he's got a car to bring to the ring, so I can't say much. <laughs> Welcome to day two, and uh, as you can see, I'm not in the Porsche 911 GTS right now. I've nicked Steve C63 AMG, C63S AMG, and these things sound ridiculously good. So I've got up much later than everybody else, and the main reason is, is that all of the other group have um, gone to get themselves a uh, ring, ring car, um, so they've rented a car like a track prepped uh, M130 uh, I think, we'll find out in a bit but if I'm being brutally honest with you all let me uh, close the window a bit then if I'm being brutally honest with you all <clears throat> the specific track driving around the ring doesn't, doesn't <clears throat> particularly interest me I mean, I don't mind going out as a passenger, but going out there hooning the car and, and setting times, and that, that's not for me. So I had a bit of a lay-in, and I asked Steve to leave his key so that I could get down to the ring, because where we're at, I mean, the scenery is incredible, but where we're at is about five minutes away. I mean, we're gonna drive there now, so you'll see. But it gives me a chance to have a bit of a play with Steve's car. <laughs> and the C63S. This one obviously mapped to 600 horsepower. It's plenty, plenty of fun. And the thing with the C63s, I, I find it it's a proper GT cruiser. Yes, it's an animal when you turn off the traction control, but it just has that V8 burble. And those pops on the upshifts are Pretty incredible. And as you can see, we are, look. This is how close we are to the ring. You'll see in a sec. Look, I mean, I'm turning out of this road, and we're literally just here. You can see the Eiffel Castle just up there. I tell you what, though, those guys who are looking to um, to do some laps, they have got perfect weather for it. And what I will try and do. Is, um, is get out and about in that 130 as a passenger just to bring you guys along so you can see it. What a, what a great day. I wonder how busy the track's gonna be. This is like my favorite flipping car park ever. Oh, Devil Diner's open. That's gonna be good. So I'm gonna probably get myself a bit of breakfast up there. I mean, how nice are all of these cars? It's just so, so good. <laughs> I love it here. And you know what? I, I, I stand by this. You don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to want or, or need to go out on the track. You don't need to go out on the track to have a good time. I honestly think you can just drive down here, do the road trip, enjoy that part of the journey, and just ha have a look around. Like, if you enjoy car shows, car meets, well, what this car park really is, it's just basically like, it's a, it's a rolling car show. That, that's how I, I would explain it. Let's park up and let's go and have a look. Oh my God, what are the odds? 
we've just parked up here because this is the rent for ride car that the guys have got and, I, and they were like oh look Steph there's a 4C and I was like shit that's my actual old 4C you see in a bit dude and the guy was like I'll, um, I'll get you out in it later on so uh, that's unbelievable genuinely intrigued now to see what that 4C is like on track because I mean <laughs> and the best thing is you don't see any of them like ever I mean you, you don't see them here at all and it's great so here they go here go the boys have fun <laughs> you don't see any of them and here they are again look the rent for ring boys <laughs> they're gonna have a good time but no what I was saying you don't see any 4Cs here at the ring because this is basically like Porsche BMW town. Literally every second car is a Porsche or a BMW. But to see a 4C and more importantly to see my old 4C, that's special, man. What are the flipping odds of that? That just doesn't happen. All right, let's go C63. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh man, it's ram jam here at the ring. I'm telling you now, it is packed. Now, whilst I had the C63, I took a quick detour up to Brunchen, otherwise known as YouTube Corner, to check out what was going on ahead of the N24. <laughs> so we made it to Brunchen, and uh, interestingly, it is absolutely rammed. I think people are getting ready like for the N24 already. Seriously, like there are caravans everywhere. But this is a good spot. Oh! Have a quick sneak peek. P46 M3. I'm gonna perch here and chill for a bit and watch a bit of racing. And take a bit of sun in, top up my tan whilst I'm at it. He's a lot of vibing. <laughs> so sick. Oh man, the views are just amazing. Weather is awesome, and considering the fact it was chucking it down with rain yesterday, we've absolutely lucked out today. I'm having a great time. good fun in the race car in the race car literally race dripped car. out mate it's dripped out that was good oh look at this someone's been a naughty boy oh dear oh dear naughty naughty not good and here they are As the sun sets here at the Nürburgring, we have lucked out massively with the weather. And what a way to end the vlog, because Matt allowed me to take his 992 GT3 with a JBR exhaust out for a spin. And my word, that thing is godly. It is such an incredible beast. You guys know how I feel about the 992. But it's not just been about the 992 on this road trip. It's been a combination of everything. The 911 GTS, Steve, 63, CC, Steve C63, the 125 Cup cars that we drove, the scenery, spending time with friends. That's what it's all about for me. Um, the cars just enhance um, the overall sensation of what a road trip is all about. It's about spending time 
with the people you really get on with and that has definitely delivered this time round. You guys all know that if I could, I would just road trip for every single video on my channel. Unfortunately, road trips cost a hell of a lot of money and uh, unfortunately I just don't have that kind of sponsorship money to go every weekend or I would. So if anyone wants to pay me a load of money to do some sponsorship to go on road trips, I'll do it. But let's end this video with this beautiful view here at Nürburgring of not just the scenery, but of the 992 GT3 on what has been an incredible adventure. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, smash the like. Comments are always welcome. And I'll see you all very soon on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.